Let's take a look at the circuit diagram for our project to detect a button press. It's a fairly straightforward and simple circuit. First, on our breadboard, we insert a push button switch. One end of the button is connected to ground, and in this case, we're using pin number 14 on the Raspberry Pi. The other end of the button is connected to pin 16 on the Raspberry Pi. That's it. Very simple, only two connections, and that's all we need for our project. Let's proceed to wire up the circuit that we'll use to detect a button press. So first, this is a push button switch, and the particular switch that I have, there are actually four connections. And on this side, if you'll notice, these two pins can be connected. These actually, when the switch is engaged and pushed down, a connection is made between these two pins and on the opposite side, a connection is made between these two pins here. So essentially there are, if you think about it, two different circuits can be connected from the same push button switch. So we will only be using one end of the switch. So the first thing that we'll need to do is insert the push button switch on the breadboard. And probably what would be best is to insert it across the gap here on our breadboard. So let's firmly push that in place. Okay. There we go. Next up, let's connect the ground connection. So we'll use a female to male connecting wire and we'll connect that first to uh, one connection on the switch. And remember, we have to go along the same row on our breadboard. So we make that connection there. The other end of the ground wire goes to pin 14 on our Raspberry Pi. And pin 14 is the seventh pin down on the right. So again, here's our Raspberry Pi oriented with the USB slots at the bottom. At the top left, that's pin one, two, and so on. So let's count seven down on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's make that connection. And that is our ground connection. The other wire will be connected to our switch. So again, let's ensure it's along the same row. So you want to verify that that's the case. Push it in on the breadboard and it's going to go to pin 16 on our Raspberry Pi. And pin 16 is the pin that is the eighth pin down on your right. And that's just right under our ground pin. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make that connection. And that is it. Very simple, straightforward and now our wiring is done.